What's up guys? We are back. Yesterday we made the Southwest Sweet Potato Hash Browns that were completely vegan, super easy to make, super simple ingredients, and today we are back with vegan Snickers Bites. They're gonna be so easy to prep, so easy to make. This will be a fairly short video. And all of the ingredients that you need, you'll probably have on hand, or you might have to go out and get one or two things, but other than that, you can modify the recipe to use things that you do have so you don't have to go and buy stuff, or you will have the stuff in your pantry ready to rock, and um, it's an awesome snack for kids, for adults, for anybody who likes sweet, yummy goodness, nutty goodness, chocolatey goodness, which I feel like is everybody. Unless you're a freak, sorry, no offense. Um, but I'm gonna go get my stuff ready, meet you back here in two seconds, literally, and uh, let's get rocking. Let's make some sweet snacks. So what you are going to need is a few pitted dates. These guys are organic, and I will show you how we're going to scoop out the pits if you don't buy pitted. We have some unsweetened coconut. We have some nuts of your choice. I grabbed almond and some cashews, because that's what I have on hand, and that's what I like the best. We have some 70% cacao chocolate, vegan, although most dark chocolate is vegan, and if you are vegan, you'll be familiar with what brands are not and what are, so make sure to double check that if you are vegan. We have some coconut oil and some fresh, all-natural almond butter, which kind of looks like crap in this cup, but it's going to taste delicious. The chocolate and the coconut oil we're going to leave for later, so we can pull those aside. And we are left with what we now need in this present moment. So first things first, we're going to start with our dates. So if you buy them pitted, make sure that you remove the pit in the middle because it's disgusting and you don't want to eat that. And you're just going to cut it open, remove the pit, and open it up like a little bowl, but you don't want to rip it apart because we are going to mush them back together at some point. So do that for all of your dates. I've done that here. Make sure you use a sharp knife because otherwise you're just going to mush them and it's going to be hard to get them like this. First things first, we're going to put a nut inside of each one. So you can crack the nuts in half if you want. We might actually have to do that because this is a massive cashew. So I'm just gonna take this super sharp knife, go down the middle of the nut. Please don't cut myself on cam. And it's actually okay that it's pretty crumbly because it's gonna be a lot easier to squish in here and also get the nut butter in there. So we've placed our little present in the date. We'll set that aside and just continue to do the same. And you can mix up the nuts if you want. I'm just gonna cut these up a little bit. Just gonna make our lives a lot easier. And I think it'll make the recipe better too. So a little slivered almond going in there. Bit of cashew, good, set it aside. And you're gonna do that for all of these guys. So I've gone up and chopped up the nuts a little bit finer. And I have stuffed all of my dates with the nuts. And now I'm going to put a tiny little sprinkle of coconut in there. And like I've said before, feel free to omit or add anything you want. Maybe you want some raspberry jam in the middle of these. Maybe you want no nuts because you're nut free. And maybe you want to use just sun butter instead of almond butter or just regular peanut butter because that's what tickles your fancy. Just do what makes you feel happy and what makes you feel good. So now that we have the coconut in there, each little date, we are going to add the almond butter. This is where it's gonna get messy, so just beware, just be prepared for it. Working with natural nut butter is almost always so, so messy. Oh, we got a crumbly date that doesn't want to deal, but that is okay. So just open it up, try to get as much in there as you can. As you're comfortable with, we're just going to impregnate the date, make sweet love to the date, all right, so they're not gonna necessarily close. If you can get bigger dates, it is much better, but you can see there we got a nice little little barrier going on. We're just gonna set it aside. This is the crumbly date, so good luck. But we are gonna pop these in the freezer for a bit while we get our chocolate ready, so that will kind of set the almond butter, so it doesn't really matter if it's inside of it or not. Plus, we're gonna be covering these guys up, so. Do not fret, my pet. It will be okay. And we're just going to set them gently aside. And you're going to do that for all of them. And you can make as many of these as you want. They stay good in the freezer for a long time. So our dates are all filled. They're ready to go. And now I'm going to pop these on a plate, put them in the freezer while we get the chocolate ready. Now we got the goods. They're plated. And we're just going to pop them in the freezer while we get the rest ready. And yes, I am addicted to ice cream. 
So what we are doing now is we are going to melt the dark chocolate with a little bit of coconut oil to make sure that it hardens nice and well on those little Snickers bites. This is probably more chocolate than I need, but I'd rather have too much than too little. And if you don't have a double boiler, that's okay. Just grab a small pot, fill it up a little bit with water, turn your um, stove top onto high so that the water boils. And that will make sure that you don't burn the chocolate and the coconut oil. So now we wait for this to melt. So as you can see, the chocolate and coconut oil are melting together perfectly. So we're just going to give this another couple seconds and then it'll be good to go. So I've removed the chocolate from the stove and I've removed the dates from the freezer. They're a lot more sticky now and a little bit more firm. The almond butter is still a little bit runny, but that's okay. We are now going to coat these bad boys. So make sure you grab a fork. The chocolate is going to be really hot, so we want to be careful when doing this. And it's because it's so hot, we need to act fast. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drop this in here, roll it around in the chocolate, and then I put some wax paper down on my on my uh, plate. I can't think. And I'm just going to place that there. If you don't have wax paper, it's really not a big deal. Um, it's just going to make sure that you get all the chocolate, and it's not going to get stuck to the plate, and you get all of the goodness all the glory and feel free to double coat these as well I might end up doing that because I'm gonna have a lot of chocolate left over so you can use a lot less than I did but I just wanted to to just do it and show y'all all right those are the bad boys after one coat of chocolate I'm gonna pop these in the freezer they're gonna set pretty quickly because of that coconut oil in the chocolate and then I'm gonna double load them with cocoa and then we're going to add some toppings and they're done as you guys can see these have set remarkably they're all good to go i'm going to do a double coat of chocolate this double set is done i'm going to crack some pink himalayan salt on these if you don't like salty chocolate just omit this part but i love pink himalayan salt on chocolate especially dark chocolate make sure there's an even amount on each and then i have some extra nuts and coconut that i'm going to sprinkle on top because we don't like waste around here. And I do have some leftover chocolate that I have no doubt in my mind I will use for something else. Hello, chocolate. And I'm going to pop these back in the freezer, go to work, come back, and we will taste test. Alright guys, it's been about 24 hours since I made these. I wanted to test them after work last night, but it was the most insane shift. I can't even explain how insane it was. So I've been looking forward to trying these all day, and I just got home from the gym, which is why this is like this. And I'm like carb depleted, my insulin levels are low, so this is going to be the perfect post-workout little treat. And I'm so excited. So, I'm going to bite into one. Oh, they're a little crumbly, but let's see how they are. Oh my god. They're better than real Snickers. I wish dogs could have chocolate because this is amazing. Oh my god. You guys have to try. You have to, have to, have to try. Look at that goodness. Look at it. Oh my god. So these were literally the biggest win ever. Probably my favorite thing I've ever baked, honestly. And this is the first time I've ever made these. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Let your vegan friends know that we've found an amazing, simple, like six ingredient dessert, if not less, if you don't have all this stuff. And make sure you try them because, oh my god. I think I'm going to start living off of these. I'm so happy. Anyways, I'm going to eat more and head out for the night. Actually, by head out, I mean ice my knee, which I just injured, and eat dinner and knees for dessert. So, have a good night, guys, and thanks for watching.